I'm Francis Fisher. I'm Bill Pullman. I'm Deidre Hall. Hi, I'm Obi. Hi, I'm Kailani, the host of Food Voices. Monarch butterflies are on the brink of extinction. We've lost 90% of this iconic species. If monarchs were humans in the United States, this would be like losing the entire human population of the United States of America, minus Ohio and Florida. So the monarch butterfly lays her eggs on the milkweed one at a time. Can she only lay her eggs on milkweed? Yes. Milkweed is the only plant the monarch caterpillar can eat. From egg to caterpillar, it's four or five days. From caterpillar to chrysalis, it's 10 to 14 days. This caterpillar here is what's called as a J position. He's getting ready to make a chrysalis. The predominant milkweed is what was supporting the monarch's flight from the mountains in Mexico uh, through Texas to Canada and back down. What's happened now with the crops or the drought is when the monarchs hit Texas in February or March, the milkweed isn't there anymore. The monarch's first job is to lay eggs and die. And if there's no milkweed to lay the eggs, the migration can't continue and keep going north. The main use for genetic engineering is to create pesticide resistant crops, which means that a gene has been implanted into the corn and soy so that millions of pounds of these pesticides can be sprayed and the corn and soy won't die. The problem is that we have milkweed and other beautiful native species of plants that cannot withstand that massive amount of pesticide use. The monarchs have no place to land, no place to lay their eggs. Their migratory process comes to a halt and we begin to see this rapid decline of this beautiful species. Bees, along with the butterflies, are responsible for one out of every three bites of food we have because of their job that they do pollinating. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. I would like to be a butterfly. If the kids can do something with nature, because those kids are going to be us in 20 years, and if this keeps up in 20 years, there's not going to be any butterflies or bees. Hi guys, how are you? Hello, how are you? Yeah. Have you guys been here before? No. Yeah. It's not difficult to be a way station. You know, you just have to have X amount of plants and X amount of nectar plants, and you don't use insecticide. One of my neighbors, I took some plants over to her, and I said, "You got to cut the sprayer guy," and she said, "Okay." I mean, it was simple. Plant as much milkweed as you possibly can. It's really fun because it's not just butterflies, it's gardening, getting out in your yard, getting off the couch, and it's, it's really, really fun. Thanks for joining us to learn more about the monarch butterflies. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Food Voices.